Sebring, Florida, minutes before 10 on a hot March morning, 67 cars, 67 drivers, 60,000 spectators all waiting for Jesse Coleman's flag. Jim Hall and Ronnie Hissom leap into the chaparral. Delmo Johnson's lightweight Corvette is first away and streaks past the slower starters. Ed Leslie's hit from behind. His engine catches fire. Bill Hill and crewmen are firemen now and quench the blaze. Johnson leads into the S's, but Ginther's 4 GT is hotly in pursuit. From the Goodyear blimp at the hairpin turn, Ginther takes advantage of the long warehouse straight to pass Johnson and take the lead. Ginther takes the pack to the Webster, a demanding hard right, hard left turn. Californian Richie Ginther locks on to first with a fleet 4 GT and heads for the last leg to give him first lap honors. But he's got trouble. Cannon in the Lola, followed by the Chaparral's, takes over. A disgusted Ginther observes from the pit wall as mechanics check his complaint of braking problems. It's finally diagnosed as a stone jammed in a brake caliper. But Carol Shelby's as impatient as Ginther and says so before the first lap leader can finally get back into action. Meantime, Gurney and Hall have passed Cannon's Lola and chase each other into an early lead over the pack. The number 30 four-liter Ferrari, Rodriguez at the wheel, is third as they settle down in the early laps. Hall got past Gurney briefly in the back, only to be passed by Gurney's Ford Lotus on the long straight. And from the Goodyear blimp, we see the two of them take the timer stand turn and onto the pit straight amongst the tail enders. Gurney's pre-race plan, keep the chaparral's on a 